This is a parcel drop box that I made probably 10 years ago or something like that. It was before I started making YouTube videos, so I never did do a video on it, but I just got through refurbishing it because it was kind of getting rusty because it had been out in the weather for so long. It's, you know, to cut down on porch pirates and that kind of thing. And my house is, I live out in the country, my house is nowhere near the road. So UPS and FedEx and even the post office, they just have to leave stuff, you know, down at the road. And I need a dry place for them to put it in. And also a place, you know, where people can't necessarily see it. This is just a 55-gallon drum. And I welded up this frame. And I'll show you some design considerations on that in a little bit. And just a simple lever to open it up. And I've got a little thing here so that when the driver opens it, this falls down and shows you that you they've been in there. So even when they come and close it, it still stays open. Now, when you mount this, it's it's automatic, so you have to you have to reset it like that. But then you want to make sure that when you mount this, that it's falling, it's leaning this way, so that it doesn't have a spring or anything. So that when you release the pin on it, it just falls down. And I'll give you a little more detail on that here in just a minute. It's just mounted on a post. Made a little cradle here to hold it. You got to cut a few couple of notches to make up for these ribs right here. But I don't, unfortunately, I don't have any drawings or anything like that. Measured drawings on this. But like I said, let's get up to the to the shop and I'll show you some design considerations on this. So unfortunately, I have no drawings for this because you know I made it about uh, ten years ago. But uh, a few design considerations I wanted to show you. So when you're when you're making this bracket, of course, you need these two pieces to fit the side. So they're they're tilted a little bit like that. The trickiest part about this is getting the lid to fit. And I had made some mailboxes before, and that's how I kind of knew how to do this. But So you bring this out, and it comes out right underneath the lip right there. And then you want to bring it up. If, if this comes up high... And if you bring this part up high and you hinge it here, your door's not going to open properly. It's got to come up and away. So, kind of like that action right there. So then, if this butts up against that, then this just comes up to the top that comes over the top of your lid right there. This piece, I just made it long enough so that I could drill into this ridge as it went around like that. And then the height's just arbitrary, just whatever you think you need to uh, support your lid. The latching mechanism is pretty, pretty easy and straightforward. This, that trips and shows you that you have a package, you just have to, so when you mount this, you've got to mount it in a, in a place so that this is trying to lean out. It's, it's leaning out like this so that when the spring releases, it'll fall like that. And then, of course, this pin has to come down and catch it so that it won't fall open. There's a little pin here that self-retains this so that it can't come out too far. The other end just comes through a hole right here. And so the distance here here from the end to that pin right there is short enough that it can't fall out with that roll pin in there. Well, I hope this was interesting to you. It sure has done a good job for us over the years and got it nice and refurbished so it's good to go for hopefully another 10 years. Hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.